What's up guys, my name is Santino Way, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the best breathing in Project Slayers. I'm going to eliminate breathings from worst to best until there's one left, and that one left is the best one in the game. Just so everyone knows, every breathing can be good if you know how to use it well. So, this is all just my opinion. Anyway, join my Discord for some Project Slayers giveaways, and yeah, let's get into the video. The first breathing I'm going to eliminate is Insect Breathing. Insect is honestly pretty overhated, but I think everyone can agree with it being eliminated first. Insect has really low damage, and overall, Insect is just not viable for PvE or PvP. It's so easy to predict what the user is going to do in combat. Honestly, Insect is not that good unless you're super good at using it. Next breathing I'm going to eliminate is Snow Breathing. Snow is overall not that good to be honest. I never see anyone using Snow Breathing ever. It has pretty low damage and it's fairly easy to predict. Snow doesn't have that much range and that's the biggest downside of it. Snow has a few decent combos but it's very predictable and it has short range. Those are the biggest downsides of Snow Breathing in my opinion. Next breathing I'm going to eliminate is Beast Breathing. Beast is pretty good for PvP and PvP. Beast has good damage and it's gotten some decent buffs recently, but the reason it's one of the first eliminated breathings is because it doesn't have much range. Beast has no range at all and it can be really annoying sometimes. Beast also has almost no AoE at all. As you can see from these moves on the screen, most of the moves have no AoE. Beast's ultimate is pretty easy to counter too. It's a running ultimate, so to counter it, if you have any long ranged moves, just use those, and it's cancelled. Beast is pretty good if it's used by good players though. Next breathing I'm gonna eliminate is Thunder Breathing. Thunder is very good, but it's gotten some bad nerfs recently, making it a lot worse. Thunder is super predictable, and it's easy to punish Thunderclap and Flash if you're good. The only hard move to predict is Heat Lightning, all the other moves are easy to predict. Thunder has some good range and easy combos though. Thunder is pretty good and I enjoy using it, but the next breathings are simply better. Next breathing I'm going to eliminate is Flame Breathing. Flame has really high damage and fairly easy combos. Flame is really good for starters because it's easy to learn and it's fun to use. If you have Rengoku, I recommend getting Flame Breathing. Flame is super good with Rengoku and it takes it up a tier. Flame also got a really nice buff recently too. Honestly, there's no huge downsides to Flame, it's overall really good, but the next breathings are better in my opinion. Next breathing I'm gonna eliminate is Water Breathing. Water Breathing is really underrated, and I feel like a lot of people will disagree with this rank, but a lot of people underestimate Water too much. Water Breathing got some nice buffs recently. The devs made it so Ripple Thrust block breaks and doesn't have knockback anymore, making it a good combo extender. Water is really easy to learn if you're new to Project Slayers looking for a good breathing to try. Water only has one big downside and that's a lack of damage. Water has below average damage which makes it a little worse to be honest, but it's still really good. Next breathing I'm going to eliminate is Sound Breathing. Okay, so now we're into the top 3 of the breathings. Sound Breathing is really overrated because most people think it's the best breathing in the game. Don't get me wrong, Sound Breathing has great damage and good combo potential, but the next breathings are just better. Sound is overall really no skill and it's gotten some very good damage buffs recently. And like I said, Sound has great damage already and good combo potential, so those buffs weren't even needed. I really like using Sound but people have to stop overrating it so much to be honest. The final breathing I'm going to eliminate before we have the last breathing is Wind Breathing. A lot of people will disagree with Wind being the second last breathing, but it's super underrated in my opinion. It's the best PvP breathing in the game for sure. Wind has almost everything you would need in a breathing. It has good AoE moves, good ranged moves, great damage on all moves, every move takes very little from the breathing bar, and good and easy to learn combos. Wind is easily one of the best breathings in the game for PvP, and it's super good for PvE too. Now that we eliminated Wind, that means we have one breathing left, Mist Breathing. Mist is definitely the best breathing in the game, no doubt. Mist has the best breathing ultimate in the game with obscuring clouds. You can go invisible and start an easy combo or get aggro off of you. The ultimate is really really good for dungeons since you can get aggro off of you which can save your life sometimes. A lot of people think Mist is only good for PvE and it's bad for PvP, but it's actually pretty good for PvP if you know how to use it well. Mist has a ton of easy combo starters and a lot of counter moves. Mist has super easy combos and very high damage too. Mist is just overall really good if you know how to use it. I think a lot of people can agree with these rankings. Comment your rankings in the comments and I'll reply with criticism. See you guys in the next video and yeah, bye.